The Duchess of Cambridge is welcoming a number of new arrivals into her life as her friend announces she is pregnant just days after Princess Beatrice gave birth to her first child. The Express reported this week that Kate's stylist Natasha Archer is expecting a baby. Ms. Archer is a close friend of Kate's having worked for the Duchess since 2007. Prior to her current role, Ms. Archer began working with the Royals as a Kensington Palace PA before adding styling responsibilities to her job description, according to Grazia magazine. Earlier this week, Prince William and Kate congratulated Princess Beatrice, on the birth of her first child with husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, 8. Buckingham Palace announced the birth last Monday, the baby girl weighed 6 pounds 2 ounces and was born Saturday September 18. Some royal experts have claimed the Cambridges could be considering a baby of their own. In fact, Us Weekly quoted a source in February who claimed having four children was always part of Kate's plan. They said, she put the idea on hold when, the coronavirus pandemic hit, but now there is light at the end of the tunnel with the vaccine and, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, scheduled to return to school in April. She feels ready to start trying again. They said Kate even told the Queen of her plans to have another child, which reportedly left her, overjoyed. Following the couple's trip to Scotland in June, royal expert Duncan Larkham said he doesn't think William and Kate have ruled out the idea of having a fourth child. He told OK Magazine, I don't think Kate and William have ever ruled out the possibility of baby number four. Their children really bring out the best in them and Kate is a natural mother and very doting with children. With Kate, despite her focus on her royal duty, her family still comes first. I wouldn't be surprised if they decided on another baby. Katie Nichol, another royal expert, said Kate has made no secret that she would like to have a fourth child, while William has been content with three. These comments came after reports in February, where one royal source claimed that four children was part of Kate's plan, but was put on hold due to COVID. Other royal experts, thought, have said that the Cambridges are unlikely to have another baby. Royal expert Nick Bullen told Us Weekly earlier this month, I think they feel that they've got a pretty perfect family. I think Kate was always keen to follow with her parents, and have that sort of family of five. She's, now, matched it. And I think my view is, that, they'll probably stop here. They are really focused, over the next 12 months, on their work. Both of them turn 40 next year, they are really keen to be promoting their charities, their initiatives and foundation. I think for them, the next 12 months are all about the work. The royal family HASNT been short of excitement surrounding royal babies this year, as Beatrice's baby came just months after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter Lilibet Diana. The Sussexes have been very private regarding their daughter, having not released images of her as of yet. Lilibet's birth was not announced straight away, Harry and Meghan waited two days before making the news public. Harry and Meghan visited New York last week to attend Global Citizens Live and visit a school in Harlem. Whilst visiting the One World Trade Center last week, Meghan also shared an update on beautiful baby Lilibet, who is now three months old. After a reporter asked, Meghan, how's Lilibet, she replied with two words, shush is beautiful. While at the event in New York, Harry and Meghan also criticized wealth nations for not distributing COVID vaccines. Harry said, my wife and I believe that where you're born should not dictate your ability to survive. We're battling more than the virus alone. This is a battle of misinformation, bureaucracy, lack of transparency and lack of access and, above all, this is a human rights crisis.